Hey Taola, Dumela, it's your guy again, KG. Welcome back to the Dotted Nose channel. Well, in today's tutorial or video, I'll be sharing with you guys a swollen laptop. I met a friend of mine yesterday and we were just talking and she was complaining that every time she's using her laptop, it's getting swollen. Now, we as people fall into the syndrome of utilizing our laptops whilst we are sitting on our beds with a blanket in between your legs as well as the laptop, right? It's a very bad habit. Stop it, all right? <laughs> it's very, very bad. Uh, the laptop uses a ventilation system as well. Remember, it has holes, right? It needs to take out the air. Um, it's very crucial that it takes out that air. Now, when you're placing it on top of yourself or in between your legs as well as putting a blanket in between your legs as well as your laptop, um, it basically cannot breathe, right? Hence, sometimes you find it getting swollen. There are other results that you can get uh, by putting it in that way or putting it on top of yourself. So one might ask himself, where should I put it? You can put it on the desk, as you can see behind me. As well as you can utilize what we call a cooling system. Right? Now this is a Dixon cooling system. Um, with this system, it utilizes USB ports behind. So you will connect your USB cable from this point to the USB port on your laptop and then switch it on utilizing this button and then basically what will happen is that um, if it has lights it will show you by the lights that it's switched on and it will cool your system then you can put it on top of yourself or put it on top of your blanket all right uh, whilst utilizing it i know we're lazy uh, but it's very crucial that we know um, these things all right so I'm just gonna put it up there. Then here is the laptop, all right? Now, as you can see, it, it has lost it has lost its shape when you look at it, all right? Now, you can see right there that the keyboard itself has, um, gotten up a bit as you can see right there and even the touchpad is getting there so it's a connect connex laptop when you close it the laptop is supposed to be fully closed but you can see when i press it it comes back now it's going to cause a lot of damage especially to the screen when you are not careful so i'm going to be disassembling it in a bit and um, i'll show you the results as to what really is going on Alright, so let's dive in. Alright guys, so now as you can see, I'm unscrewing the laptop just to check what's going on inside. Next time I'll make sure I get a proper light so that you guys can see. Pardon me for that. So I'm unscrewing the laptop just so that we can find out what has swollen within but i suspect the battery because a battery is the only uh, common component that can get swollen now the laptop is opening up itself because of the swollen component all right now we're gonna check what's swollen inside. I basically said it uh, that the battery is the component that will get swollen. Now, as you can see right here, so I need to unscrew these parts as well so that I can disconnect the battery itself. And it's not only with this kind of laptop. Your brand or laptop 
as well can have can happen to have a swollen battery like i said in the intro that avoid utilizing it on top of the blanket or, or on your lap make sure to get a cooling system that you can be able to utilize or put on top of your your lap or or the blanket now i cannot see properly of what's going on inside here i need to unpatch these patches so i can see if there is a connection between this so we have a screw right there All right and then there we disconnect it now you can see that the battery has become swollen now the only option for her since she won't be able to buy a battery uh, like it says recharge she's gonna use a laptop as a desktop basically um, it's gonna work on power supply right it's gonna work without the battery uh, because if she uses it something might happen and um, it's not feasible to utilize her laptop with this kind of swollen battery all right so all right guys as you have seen um, i was able to disassemble the the laptop and check what uh, or which component was swollen and we discovered that the battery um, is the one that got swollen all right so she's gonna use her laptop as a desktop for now because uh, even my laptop is a, is a <laughs> i'm utilizing it as a desktop um, and it basically depends on power supply uh, i cannot go out with it on vacation i can but then i cannot open it if i'm on the beach or wherever or whichever place I am at because it's not rechargeable anymore due to the battery um, that has died all right um, now as you can see once again it's straight right as you can see right there it's straight it's no longer swollen all right remember the tips I gave you guys and look down there at the description box and you will see some of the tips on how you can prevent your laptop from getting swollen so yeah that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'm looking forward to sharing with you guys more tips on how uh, you can prevent yourself from becoming a victim of identity theft and upgrading your computerized skills. Cheers.